in the previous video you have uh, seen the different properties of matrix here also you will see other some other important properties of matrix the one type of um, important type of matrix is called null matrix so what is the called what is a uh, which type of matrix is called null matrix here is the example suppose any element m is equal to 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this is a m is a null matrix m is null matrix so how can you determine that m is null matrix the rule is very simple any matrix can become null matrix if and only if all element of the matrix is zero so what do you see m is a 2 by 3 matrix total number of element is 6 and all element of this matrix is zero this is very simple if all element is zero then uh, this type of matrix is called null mat null matrix you you cannot say m is zero but you can only say in this condition is that m is null matrix so any null matrix is denoted by zero so m is zero this is a matrix uh, which have all element value is zero this is called null matrix now i will explain you the equal equality of matrix if if a is um, a b c d e f and b is i j k l m n if a is equal to b if the two matrix are equal this can only happens when all element all element of a and b are corresponding values of elements are similar what is the meaning of this take this uh, element corresponding element of b is this so a is equal to i take this element corresponding to f what is the element in b it is n so f is equal to n so is similarly b is equal to b should be j c is equal to k d is equal to l and e is equal to m so if all element uh, all the corresponding elements are similar then only a and b can be e equal so the two matrix can be equal only when the all the elements corresponding elements are similar to each other now i will explain you about the triangular matrix triangular matrix so what is uh, this triangular matrix is here is the example 5109095010 here is the uh, first of all you should see that this is uh, in this example of the matrix what do you see the leading diagonal matrix diagonal of uh, this uh, matrix is 5 9 and 10 so this is the leading diagonal of this square matrix first condition is that for triangular matrix the first condition of the matrix is that it should be it should be a square matrix first of all it should be a square matrix okay so the in this uh, this is the example of a square matrix and what the other condition is that one side one side is zero one side of leading uh, diagonal is zero so what do you see here all the element below this leading diagonal is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero all element below this uh, leading diagonal is zero so this is called upper triangular matrix if the zero the uh, if the zeros are uh, at this place then that type of matrix will, um, will called lower triangular matrix i will show you what is the lower triangular matrix so here is the example of lower lower triangular matrix
so what do you see in this uh, matrix first of all this is a square matrix number of row and number of column is same this is equal to 3 it can be 4 it can be 2 but the number of row and number of column should be same so the matrix is called square matrix find out the what is the leading uh, diagonal start to finish this is this is the leading diagonal of this matrix what do you see here see here all the upper portion of this diagonal uh, leading diagonal is zero all the elements of this all the leading elements above this diagonal is zero so uh, this type of matrix is called lower triangular matrix so you understood what is the meaning of uh, upper and lower triangular matrix now i will show you how um, addition of matrix how to do the addition of matrix addition of matrix suppose a and you want to add matrix a and matrix b so the first condition of matrix is that number of element number of m it is m by n it should also be m by n then only you can add okay here is the example suppose you want to add 165239 and minus 1 2 minus 6 minus 5 6 9 this is the two matrix you want to add so what do you first condition uh, for the addition to take place first condition is that number of row and number of column should match with the second one so what do you see here number of row in the first matrix is 2 in this uh, matrix also number of row is 2 number of column in the first matrix is 3 and number of column in the second matrix is 1 2 3 so this is 3 so m and n are matching so you can add so to add the matrix you just um, add the corresponding elements only you add one to this corresponding element here this to this and so on here is the result 1 and plus minus 1 it will be equal to the result uh, resultant matrix is having the same number of row and same number of column as the individual matrix so number of row will also be 2 and number of column will also be 3 in the added matrix so this is the number of row uh, is 2 and number of column is 3 so the vacant place is this you have to fill this so at this place what what will be the value 1 plus minus 1 the add this with corresponding element of the second matrix so it will be 0 add this with corresponding this so 6 plus 2 add is equal to 8 5 minus 6 is 5 minus 6 is minus 1 and 2 minus 5 is minus 3 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 so this is the added matrix 0 8 minus 1 minus 3 9 18 is the addition of matrix a and matrix b similarly you can um, minus also a minus b if you want to uh, subtract b from a then you just sub subtract the this element from the corresponding element of first matrix okay here is the example of uh, subtraction of two matrix suppose uh, i want to subtract this 5 3 6 2 5 7 minus 2 10 9 9 10 2 what is the value of this this is just subtract 2 minus from 5 so 3 8 
3 minus 9 is equal to minus 6 6 minus 10 is equal to minus 4 2 minus 10 minus 8 5 minus 9 is equal to minus 4 7 minus 2 5 so this is the value of the resultant matrix now I will explain you what will happen when you multiply a matrix by a single digit suppose suppose a is uh, this 1 6 2 5 what is the value of 3a you just multiply all the element with 3 so 3 6 18 and 15 this is the value of 3a so if anybody ask you a um, question something like uh, this something like this so, um, suppose uh, suppose a is uh, 1 6 9 2 3 5 and b is 5 6 8 2 9 5 what is the value of 2a plus 3b is equal to how much you can solve it easily ok first multiply 2 multiply uh, you need to first multiply 2 with all element of a and 3 with all element of b and find the and add the corresponding numbers if you add the corresponding number you will get the values so the value will be like this if you add this is a very easy type of a problem 2 plus 15 2 plus 15 is 17 similarly the result will come as 2 into 2, 4 plus 6, 4 plus 6, this is 10, 2 plus 6, 2 into 6, 12, and 3 into 6, 18, 12 plus 18, that is 30, and 9 plus 27 is equal to 36, 18 plus 24 equals to 42, and 10 plus 15 is equal to 25 so this this is the matrix uh, 2a plus 3b equal to this